Microfinancing is the key to selling a high value product in a low income area according to me. Uh, we could do or any company could do various types of agreements with microfinance companies. The agreement or the contract that we had with a microfinance company was for financing only. So our sales team would find customers, explain the product to them, explain the monthly installment plan to them and if the customer agrees then we send their details to a microfinance company. The microfinance company would then do their due diligence, you know, would check if the, uh, this particular inquiry, this particular family is credit worthy or not and they have their own process. If they say yes, this client is credit worthy, we can give them a loan, then we get paid upfront and the family then does an agreement with the microfinance company and the family pays monthly installments for 24 months or 36 months and eventually even maybe 60 months, there were various agreements. Uh, the family would then pay monthly installments uh, to the microfinance company. So that's how it would work. It's like any product that even a mid-income, upper-income family would buy on a monthly installment. But this is, uh, there are finance companies that are targeted towards low-income families only. They know how to do their due diligence. A mid-income or an upper-income family would be filing their income tax returns, would be using a credit card, would have taken a big loan for a car or a bigger house or whatever. All their credit history is saved and stored. So for a mid-income or an upper-income family, all this information is available. So it's relatively easy to give them a loan. For low-income families, income tax returns are not as available. They, uh, credit cards are not as used. Uh, they have rarely taken a big loan for a car or for a big house. So the credit history is not as available. So what microfinance companies do, so we have to go back to the history of microfinancing, right? Uh, microfinancing got a big boost or probably uh, was pioneered, inspired by Mohammed Yunus of Grameen Bank uh, in Bangladesh and they pioneered uh, a group lending. So they'll create like a joint liability group. So they would not give a loan to one person because there's no credit history. How do they give a loan? So then what do they do? So they created a group. They said we'll give loan to five people together. And they don't have credit history, but these five people, they would form their own group and they will give sort of give guarantee of each other. So if one person out of the group does not pay, then other four have to pay their uh, loan also. So there was this peer pressure, you know, and the group had to be formed by the members. It was not enforced or influenced by the finance company. So finance companies out of it. So this was a group lending method that was, as I said, pioneered by uh, Mohammed Yunus of Grameen Bank and that's what a lot of microfinance companies in India and Africa they adopted and they started giving loans that way. Now that's what they were doing but in the process of doing that they scaled up a lot and now they have a lot of data. They know that if this particular family in a low income area how many group loans have they participated in, how many have they repaid and accordingly uh, that becomes one a strong data point for the microfinance company to give them a new loan, a bigger loan. Uh, so that's a whole process and that's how microfinance companies specialize in giving loans to low income families. So that's why now even commercial banks are starting their own uh, microfinancing, micro lending arms so that uh, they can uh, give, they can also enter this segment.